So let me get this straight. <clears throat> you make a video, Archfiend, talking about how the eye whore, I Justine, caused so much trouble for a 13 year old girl on YouTube. Because of all the hate that Justine herself gets, this girl also became a target of these troll attacks. And it is Justine's fault, not the troll's fault, that this happened. Because she is, in your words, in your own words, a no good money grubbing whore. Now, I don't know what your what I don't know what your priorities are, I don't know what, what point you're trying to make, but what I'm seeing here, the most important thing that I see in this whole entire E drama is the fact that some teenage girl, some innocent victim, in this little E war between Justine and all their haters, yourself included, almost became an E casualty in this mess. Now, it sounds to me that you're trying to justify these attacks that these, this girl got just because just because Justine is as, is as greedy as you say she is. But let me tell you something. It sounds like you, you showed absolutely no regard for this teenage girl that was nearly bullied off the internet. The only thing that you cared about was attacking Justine. And it's obvious to me that that's the only thing you cared about. Since, the, since you brought up her gaming channel which had nothing to do with anything. It has nothing to do with this teenage girl other than the sh you just brought up her gaming channel only to show the fact that you have all this disdain, all this hatred for this girl. I mean, you talk about how she attacks so much hate and sh anything she's going to promote on her, on her videos is going to get the same hatred that she gets. Well, guess what? I could say the same exact thing about you. And your protege, Undertaker Freak 1127, by the way, having been having once been a subscriber and follower of you, you know you both attract assholes on your channel too, just as Justine does, because you and UTF proudly act like assholes. You have and you have no shame in acting like assholes. And you know what? People don't like you either, and that's not just coming from Justine fangirls or fanboys. That comes from full follow, former followers as well, ex-subscribers like myself, Archfiend Live, uh, Solar Flare, Brad One One Seven, Frank Calzone. The list goes on and on of former subscribers, former fans, former fanboys of your channel. I can also point out that all the hate that she gets here on YouTube, you're partially responsible for that. Especially when you're going around smearing her and calling her an eye whore. And leaving all these hateful comments on her videos. Not critical comments. You're leaving downright hateful comments. I mean, what do you expect to happen when your fans, your fanboys leave, leave the exact same eye whore comments as well? You know exactly what's going to happen. It's very disingenuous and very insincere of you to go around trying to berate your own fanboys telling telling them telling them that they're acting like idiots when you're acting like an idiot you're an idiot yourself it's one thing to be critical for what she does it's one thing to be critical of her malaria video the fact that she has all these channels the fact that she has this gaming channel no one seems no one really seems to like you know that's all that is up for debate any all, any criticism she, she gets because of that, some of it is even justified. But when you go around starting, when you go around trying to slander people, calling people names, calling people whores, then it does not become a debate anymore. It becomes an all-out flame war. I mean, you—you you of all people, being a political science major, just as I was when I was in college, we both know this goes on in the political spectrum. This goes on in all for walks of life. And it is no different on the internet, and it's certainly no different on YouTube. And you want to brag about her not being used to the hate, how, she's, how she is so sensitive, how she's so thin-skinned, blocking you and deleting the comments that you left on her videos. Well, guess what? Two words for you, Archfiend. Hypocrite much? 
you have done the exact same thing when people have criticized you. You both deserve each other, and I'm surprised instead of blocking you, she didn't ask you to marry her because you both are one and the same as far as I'm concerned to being sensitive and thin-skinned and not being able to handle criticism. You, you two have more in common than either one of you would like to admit. The bottom line here is, is it, it has become all about ego. It's become all about hatred. It's all about, this has all been all about hypocrisy with you, Archfiend. You know, before you never really acted that way. You were always kind of a douchebag in your videos, but it was a kind of like a fun douchebag thing. It was, it was, I never really took it, took it too seriously. Took your videos like very seriously, you know, all the, the cloud videos, the IGSRJ videos. You know, I thought it was, personally I always thought it was all in good fun. It's just, it's just the internet, it's just YouTube, you know, it's just entertainment as far as I'm concerned. But since 2010, since you, since you started, since you released those Shane Dawson videos, it's been all serious business with you. You have self-proclaimed yourself as this crusader of the little guy on YouTube, and yet you yourself, not unlike the not unlike the elites here, will block and slander anyone who you don't like or whoever doesn't agree with you. I got a news fast for you too, Archfiend. It is the goddamn internet. And people do like act like assholes on the internet, especially when their whole world revolves around the internet. Have you looked at yourself in the mirror lately? That is all.